news, my lovely, wonderful people. Our brother Omotayo Williams said, Tinubu can't escape the drug issue. May God never allow a drug lord to rule our country. You can see his face, that is him there. He's a human rights activist. And um, my own question to everyone, you know, is I know that Tinubu fulfilled $460,000 in America. Yes, I know very well. And um, there were, were drug-related issues. And the matter here is, if this, as it is, really, you know, there is a drug case going on, then Tinubu is not fit to be Nigerian's president. But if there is no such thing, then that man, I don't know, village people, they after you. So I want to be very objective. I was not there. Uh -huh, so I don't know. But if really the case is as it is, then there are issues. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Tinubu can escape the drug issue. May God never allow a drug dealer to rule Nigeria. Tai Omotayo Williams reveal. Human rights activist and political analyst Omotayo Williams has today said Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, Nigerian's president elect, cannot escape the drug issue, and may God never allow a drug dealer to rule over the country Nigeria. Recall that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu winner of the presidential election. Bola Tinubu emerged as Nigerian's president elect, has triggered mixed reactions among several people, including comrade Omotayo Williams. The human rights activist Omotayo Williams, via a post he made on his verified Twitter handle, said that Bola Ahmed Tinubu cannot escape the drug issue he is currently facing. No, he can't escape this one in the U.S. And he alleged that this development is causing a lot of tension in APC camp. The next couple of weeks and months will be interesting for democracy, Omotayo added. His post reads, Tinubu can't escape the drug issues for the first time. He will be tested before a competent court. This is causing a lot of tension in APC camp. The next couple of weeks, days, will be interesting for democracy. May God never allow a drug ruler, a drug dealer, to be the ruler of our nation. Tinubu can escape this. No, there will be testing and the U.S. will have to also give an account, give evidence with regards to what Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, why he fulfilled such an amount of money in the U.S., they will have to tell us what exactly is going on. What they have hidden and kept for so long will all be revealed for the world to see. It's only a matter of time. This will be exposed to the whole world. What they have kept is coming out. There is no hiding place. There is no going back. It is evident now for all to see that there are issues and these issues must be dealt with and must be resolved. All we see will come to an end in no distance time. So Omotayo Williams is one of those who is big on saying Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu will have to say to the world what he did. If really, you know, because, I mean, there is the Beta Alpha case. There are a lot of cases that have, you know, gone on with Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. But this one is very peculiar. The president of a country, the president of a country, now there are issues. As the president of the country, there needs to be, I mean, if you remember David Cameron for, for uh, President Muhammad Buhari, when he got to the UK, he said it's say, fantastically corrupt. Said it, you know, and Nigerians then, we just say we get uh, and a better person we get. All of us just they fight. Hey, why you talk so? Blah, blah, blah. In all rich, in all rich state, they give us our own. Simon acquired on our own day, on our two soon, on another green work. All the youth for the country, on our soon, I get oil, on another one green work. Who said that? Who discussed that with Buhari? So, this is what is going on and why every single 
person, you know, must ensure that um, we we do what is right. Okay, we do what is needed and we do what is right to ensure that, you know, Nigeria becomes that country, that place where every single person, you know, must have what is needed and necessary to change the course of what is on ground today. The issue right now, okay, there is a lot of issues. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, I guess, never really saw this coming. I guess he never really saw this coming because the problem is the people you taught, okay, are going to be standing with and for you, okay, with and for you are rather now, you know, are rather doing other things and they, they have other cases and other matters of interest that they are focused with and you are not there, you are not the, you are not the, you are not the reason why they do what they do, you know, everybody, not everybody, you are not everybody's cup of tea if you must know. Okay, you're not everybody's cup of tea and not everybody is particularly concerned, you know, about whatever you think. You don't think so highly. Okay, don't over, don't over, don't overdo it and think that ah, after you, now you again. You'll be surprised. It will shock you. Tell your neighbor, say it will shock you. <clears throat> so this is part of what is happening. And every single person, you know, is watching carefully to see how, you know, things play out we cannot continue with the same thing and expect a different result every time we have an opportunity to make a change and we do nothing about it we have just held ourselves down and uh, we've held ourselves in a very tight spot and in a tight corner so it is time honestly sincerely to forge ahead to move forward and to make things work because our nation first of all belongs to us Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu is that man that, you know, some are happy that he won. Some other persons are saying, no, such a person cannot become our president. I mean, he was living his life, but until, like a goldfish, you know, you have an option to remain the kind of fish you are or to transform into a goldfish. But you must understand something very critically clear. A goldfish sadly have no place to hide. And since the declaration of the president-elect word, news have spread, you know, and the whole world is watching. In fact, an Australian paper carried it that, you know, uh, Ashiwa Juhamed Bolatin of a drug lord becoming Nigerian's president. So leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, Is bye for now.